Welcome back everyone to my let's play of Jade Empire. And now I will definitely go and see Martha Lee. I know, I'm sorry. I'm a bad, bad girl. But now we shall go and talk to her. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Perhaps I will train others, as you have trained me. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. I'm sure it's for good reason, Master. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. What would you have me do, Master? The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the Weapon Master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. I will do as you ask. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Okay, and that was Master Lee. And now we're going to leave from his box. And talk to this bloody great big statue thing here. The Statue of Alliance stands behind an altar. It is marked as a training aid designed by a previous master of the school. There is a crystal sphere in the lion's paw. Okay, I'm going to approach the altar. The altar is less ornate than the statue and lacks a sense of permanence. Something activates as you approach. The sphere in the lion's paw begins to glow with a blue light. And so you follow it, and you put the blue figurine on the altar. Change to red, okay, go, pop it on. And you'll never guess, yellow next. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion. Okay. So now we go. I love this game so much. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm over here. To the tomb. 
This grave appears to dedicate to the old master, a former instructor of the school. It is a humble tribute, not even bearing his name. A small boat sits beneath the stylized image of a lion, ready to accept offerings of silver to speed the spirit of the departed to his rest. We're going to place a silver coin. The coin disappears to a thin slot in the bottom of the bowl. There is an audible clicking sound. And then we thieve it. Like so. Because we are sneaky like that. Okay. Fly back down here. Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> I'll just run around like a complete idiot. And back to the statue. Yep, 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 yep. Approach the altar. Blah, blah. There's an indentation in the statue's mouth, reminding you of the shape you saw recently. You pop the token in its mouth. And the sphere glows green. Okay, so you want. Two. Then we remove the blue. Pop in the red. Then we remove the yellow. And there we go. Such erupts in a loud burst of energy. Clearly you've done something momentous. I feel different. Do I? Examine your world from all angles and you will see the interconnectedness of all things. Even that which is humble can be the key to greater things. You finish the statue so you leave the figurines on the altar. Okie doke. And we got the gaze of the lion and a new word for our dictionary interconnectednessnessness. Well done, by aware, you astound me. Okay. And with that, I think we can call it a moment. And we should do the band attack when we next get back. See you then, folks.